there. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching. Uh, what I've got to show you today is something special. This is a Les Paul double cut standard by Gibson. And this is a beautiful amber flame top. Uh, now that's a solid maple cap, as you can see on the side there. Now this is not binding. Uh, that's just the actual maple cap you're seeing. Uh, this guitar does not have body binding, uh, but it has fingerboard binding. So that's one difference between a Les Paul standard single cut and the double cut. Uh, I prefer uh, body binding and I wish this had it. Uh, that being said, in person uh, it looks fantastic and really classy and it does not look cheap at all. It's, it's really nice how you can see the maple in the heel, the area there, in the cutaway. It has a mahogany neck, and it's a one piece, there's no scarf joint. Uh, so that's one thing that would be different on an Epiphone. Uh, this is one piece of mahogany start to finish. And it has a beautiful rosewood fingerboard, which is nice and dark. Looks to be uh, probably fake mother of pearl trapezoid inlays. And the binding is top notch, as uh, you'd come to expect from Gibson with the fret end binding. And it feels perfect up and down. You never feel a, a sharp fret. Now you will notice the, uh, the Gibson logo is kind of funky. Uh, this era of Gibsons, they had, I don't want to call it a quality control issue, but uh, something going on with the finish around the logo there. Uh, delamination or finish checking and there's a bit on the edges as well just looks like the finish kind of lifts off and it gets some air underneath it or something uh, it's not something to worry about uh, some people just think it adds character I'm sort of uh, undecided on it it does make it look older which is kind of cool uh, it has the matching gold Grover tuners which always do a rock-solid job of tuning However, this particular model, uh, I've had two of them. Well, I owned one and this one's on loan, uh, but they do drop a uh, tune in the G string. And that's pretty common for Les Pauls. I don't know if it has anything to do with the double cut situation. Of course, the, the neck would be a little less stable because you're missing some contact there for the extra cutaway. Um, I'm sure it's, it could be dealt with. It probably just needs some uh, lube in the nut, but uh, I don't like to deal with that sort of thing, so I got rid of mine. Uh, now they are thinner and very comfortable to play as this body contour, which seems small, but it makes a real difference the way you feel the guitar uh, when you're interacting with it. Another thing I love about these is the simplified controls. Uh, so we have one volume, and one tone, and just a three position switch, which gives you one pickup, the other pickup, or both. Sort of like a, a standard Les Paul, uh, but just with half the knobs. And that seems to work fine. I'm not a very diverse player, so I'm usually just in one pickup anyway, uh, with everything cranked. Now it has the ABR uh, bridge and a stop tail piece. Of course, they're all in the gold and it looks great. The action on this one is fantastic, and uh, you'd sort of come to expect a great playing guitar from Gibson. They have a, a simplified back as well, just a slab mahogany, uh, a, a double cut standard, or a single cut standard would have an extra round access point for your switch up there. So a little bit different. Now the pickups uh, are in a different position. On a single cut, this pickup would be closer to the neck, uh, but this has been moved towards this pickup to allow room for the extra frets because this is a 24 fret fingerboard. <clears throat> so, kind of cool. It, it's just called a Les Paul standard double cut, but it really is different in so many ways. It almost could have its own model name, um, maybe not a standard, but. Uh, Great guitar, I really like it. I prefer this setup to the uh, typical single cut standard. If it wasn't for the tuning issue, I think it would probably be almost my dream guitar. 
if it had the body binding, uh, yeah, I'd call it perfect. And uh, it's certainly no slouch as it is. So thanks for watching. I'll do some sound samples and uh, have a great weekend. Cheers.